Hello, everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson, also known by Shiley, right here in the city of Memphis, in the county sheriff in the state of Tennessee. And today and date is May the 5th, 2019, the time 501 a.m. First, I thank all my family, my support for your continued encouragement and support. This is part two of the same video. I just ended part one. And this is part two of the same video. And uh, that's what it's going to be dated with all uh, the date, May the 5th, 2019. <laughs> So to continue our conversation before we get to our Bible reading, and so uh, see a lot of this stuff about the about church and all that, see it's made up. It's only one church. We're gonna go to the United Nations. We're gonna go to the United Nations. Every nation on this earth is represented in the United Nations. Not all people on this earth are represented in the United Nations. Everybody got human rights. Every human being on this earth. Every human being on this earth got human rights. Now, when it comes to all this other stuff, like freedom of the press and you know, you know all this stuff about people's rights, about rights, there's one right that nobody on this earth gonna really argue about. Every human being on this earth got the right to be a human being, because that's what you are. We are all human. We have that right. Now, when it comes to freedom of religion, like I've been saying, First of all, the Catholic Church, that's not, a, that's not freedom of religion. It's only one church. You don't have that right. The church, what the church did today? Did you be talking about, did you talk about the, the uh, claiming that the Apostle Peter was the first pope? This is what the Catholic Church be saying. That the Apostle Peter was the first pope. The church that he was part of, where that church is? See? That would, see this is what you you don't have freedom of religion talking about the Baptist church you talking about the Baptist church where the, first, where the church that Jesus Christ established where that church huh? you don't have freedom of religion you don't have freedom of religion there ain't no such thing, no Methodist church no such thing, you don't have freedom of religion that's freedom of religion the children of Israel no such thing no Jew and Jew Having freedom of religion. That's an insult. To be honest, to tell the truth, that's an insult. You should never, ever hear anything like no bound in earth should ever hear anything like that. The Jew and Jews. You should never hear that. And not recognize, not, and not acknowledge the children of Israel. That's an insult. And you talking about remember the Holocaust. Remember the children of Israel. Remember the children of Israel. Talking about the Holocaust. Remember the children of Israel. Because that's what the world has forgot. The children of Israel. That's freedom of religion. That, that, that stuff you talking about, that's some occult. See, you don't be telling the truth. It's right there in the Old Testament. It tells you in the Old Testament that the Jew and Jew were fighting against the children of Israel. They hate the children of Israel. So how you gonna have freedom of religion? See, this is this is how you be intentionally distorting the truth. It be right there in the Old Testament. It's right there. In the Old Testament, it tells you right there in the Old Testament. And you just sitting, you just blatantly ignore the truth. You don't have that right. See, this is real. You don't have that right to lie. You don't have that right to lie. I'm talking about the Church of England, you got freedom over there. No, you don't. No, you don't. You lie. It's only one church. And see, when we make it official at the United Nations, it's gonna be, it's coming real soon. You know. At the same time, at the United States, the International Criminal Court, criminal and civil charges. 
in every nation, at the United Nations, have a justice department or a ministry of justice. Criminal and civil charges. For example, here in the United States of America, we have a justice department. In all 50 states, same thing. Have an attorney general. Then you have a, a criminal court. You know, at the state level, now at the federal level, you know, you had the attorney general, the federal bureau, of best, the FBI, and so on and so forth. But at this, then you go to the state level, you still have an attorney general that's over the whole state. And then you have all these districts and county, you know, district courts and all this. Criminal and civil charges. There's no such thing, no National Baptist Convention. And no Southern Baptist Convention, no such thing. There's no such thing. You're going to jail. Criminal and civil charge, you're going to jail. Now, if you want to go on the run, you know. But we got to get to our Bible reading. Now, uh, the United States of America, like all nations on the earth, they enacted law that intend to make all of us safe from crime, organized crime. Now, the United States of America, they enacted the uh, Organized Crime Control Act of 1970. And Title IX of the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970, the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the RICO Act, is anti gang Also, the Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention Control Act of 1970, the Control Substance Act, the Psychotropic Substance Act, the Continuing Criminal Enterprise Statute, the Kingpin Statute, is anti gang. The Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention Act of 1974 established the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention, and then there are other uh, related legislation that's anti gang. The Comprehensive Anti Gang, and this is the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention. And the Comprehensive Gang by the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the Office of Justice Program, the United States Department of Justice, <coughs> the Office of Justice Program, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the United States Department of Justice, the Comprehensive Anti Gang List, and Project Safe Neighborhoods. The United States Department of Justice, the Office of Community Oriented Police, and Serve the Comprehensive Anti Gang List, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention, the United States Department of Justice, the Office of Justice Program, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the International Archive Law Firm of the United States Department of State, the Institute for Intergovernmental Affairs, Gang Resistance Education and Training, the Great Program, the United States Department of Justice, the Office of Justice Program, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention, October 2009, the National Youth Gang Center, which have been funded by the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention since 1995, merged with the National Gang Center, which have been funded by the Bureau of Justice Assistance since 2003. The National Gang Center compilation state laws against gang, gang prevention, overview of research and program. Mr. James C. Howe, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Links Prevention, the United States Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the Office of Juvenile Justice, the Links Prevention, National Gang Center Bulletin, and the title of that bulletin, History of Street Gangs in the United States. Now, in the bulletin, uh, there are books in the bulletin. Read the books in the bulletin. You know, refer to those books. Now, you can also uh, find the same information. Go to the quick reference, Wikipedia, and that information be titled Gangs in the United States. United States Department of Justice, Officer of the United States Attorney Man, 1457 Criminal Street Gang Statute, 18 United States Code 521, the United States Department of Justice, the Federal Bureau Investigating National Gang Intelligence Center, the United States Department of Justice, Organized Crime and Gang Section, and then you have other federal, state, and local agencies. The United States Department of Justice, the Office of Justice Program, National Institute of Justice, Anti Gang Strategies, Prevention, Intervention, Assessment, and Suppression. The United States Department of Justice, Office of Justice Program, National Institute of Justice, the United States Department of Health and Human Services, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 
National Center for Injury Prevention and Control, Change in Course, Preventing Gang Membership, and also strive, striving to reduce youth violence everywhere. The United States Department of Justice, the United States Department of Education, the United States Department of Health and Human Service, the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, the United States Department of Labor, and the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, National Forum Youth Violence Prevention Forum. You can go to youth.gov, be informed about the National Forum Youth Violence Prevention, as well as the Comprehensive Anti-Gang Division, the Comprehensive Gang Model, the United States Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice, the National Crime Prevention Council, keeping kids out of gangs, and also anti-hazing. You can go to uh, the United States Department of Justice. You can go to lawyers.com and be informed about anti-hazing. Now, get to our read. Now, uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Also, all those watching my video, you can go to uh, BibleStudyTool.com to follow along, and also BibleGateway.com to follow along. Uh, Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 23. And Luke chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 52. The Lord's Supper. Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29. Mark chapter 14, verses 22 through 25. Luke chapter 22, verses 15 through 22. The Lord's Prayer. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Luke chapter 11, verses 2 through 4. The Beatitude. Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7. And also Luke chapter 6, verses 20 through 49. John the Baptist. Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 through 17. Emphasize verses 11 through 17. Mark chapter 1, verse 1 through 11. Emphasize verses 7 through 11. Luke chapter 3, verses 1 through 22. Emphasize verses 7, uh, 16 through 22. And John chapter 1, verses 15 through 34. Emphasize verses 26 through 34. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Son of God, teaching in the synagogue. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Mark chapter 1, verse 21. Luke chapter 4, verse 15. And John chapter 6, verse 15, 59. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Son of God, and begins his ministry. Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 through 25, emphasize verses 23 through 25. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 through 45, emphasize verse 14, 39 through 45. Luke chapter 4, verses 14 through 44, emphasize verse 15 and uh, verse 43 and 44. And John chapter 1, verses 35 through 51. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He chose 12 disciples. Matthew chapter 10, verses 1 through 42. Mark chapter 3, verses 13 through 35. Luke chapter 6, verses 13 through 49. John chapter 6, verses 59 through 71. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He established the one and only church. The one and only church. Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 19. And Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 through 20. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He gives His apostles commission. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Mark chapter 16, verses 14 through 20. Luke chapter 24, verses 44 through 49. And John chapter 21. The death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Matthew chapter 26, verses 1 through 75. Matthew chapter 27, verses 1 through 66. Emphasize verse 50. Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, took his body down from the cross. And also verses 57 through 60. And all Mark, Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 20. Emphasize verses 16 through 20. In Mark chapter 14, verses 1 through 72. In Mark chapter 15, verses 1 through 47. Emphasize verse 37. Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Son of God, took his body down from the cross. And also verses 43 through 47. Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 20. Emphasize verses 14 through 20. Luke chapter 22, verses 1 through 71. 
Luke chapter 23, verses 1 through 56, emphasized verse 46. Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, took his body an hour from the cross. And also verses 50 through 56. Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 53, emphasized verses 44 through 53. John chapter 17, verses 1 through 26. John chapter 18, verses 1 through 40. John chapter 19, verses 1 through 42, emphasized verse 30. Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, took his body down from the cross. And also verses 38 through 42. In John chapter 20, verses 1 through 31. In John chapter 21, verses 1 through 25. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Son of God, gives his apostle commission. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Mark chapter 16, verses 14 through 20. Luke chapter 24, verses 44 through 49. And John chapter 21.
like I said last on my uh, previous, see I went to Walmart. Went and got me some markers, some color markers. Then you know, not just the big ones. So the little ones. See that's what I did. See, you ain't gonna tell me. I'm talking about you worshiping no devil. That's what you ain't, that's what you're not gonna tell me. You're not gonna tell everything. I'm talking about some Western esotericism, so Kabbalah and Gnosticism and Hermitism. Man, I'm not hearing nothing you got to say. Go to jail. You know, you want to turn yourself in? Go ahead, turn yourself in. You going to jail?
word. We get to our Bible reading. We're going to start our Bible reading in Matthew chapter 3. In those days, start verse number 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his raiment of camels hair and the lantern girdle about his loins, and his meat with locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan. And were baptizing him in joy, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees said they come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of Vikings, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruit and meat for repentance, and think not to say within your sin, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree, therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire, and then baptized in water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to join unto John to be baptized of John. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus. He would come with us to fulfill our rights, and then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God ascending like a dove and lightning upon him. And, he lo and lo, a voice from heaven, Stand in my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. We're going to continue our reading in Matthew chapter 4, starting verse number 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was out of hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now watch the devil. Watch the devil take words out of God's word. Then the devil taking him up into the holy city, set of him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written. He should give his angels charge beside thee, and thy hand they shall bear thee up. Lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And the devil taking him and to any seed high mount, and showed him all the kingdom of the world, and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now when Jesus had heard, and John would cast a prayer, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast and the borders of Zebulon and Neptunum, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulon and the land of Neptunum, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee, and the Gentile, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region, and shadowed their light, and sprung up. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus walked by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, cast a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the ship with Zebedee, their father, men of their nets. And he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in that synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And he hid in all manner, seeing that all manner of zeal among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments. 
and those who were possessed with devils and those who were lunatic and those that had the palsy and they healed them and they followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from the Copernicus and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan and we're going to continue our reading and let's go over here to uh, To the church, and then we're gonna come back. We're in Matthew chapter 16. We're gonna read verses 13 through 19. Then we're gonna read verses of uh, Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 through 20. It's only one church, only one church. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Son, say that thou John the Baptist, son of Eli, and other Jeremiah, the one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, my John, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee. But my Father which is in heaven, and I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now let's turn over here to Matthew chapter 18. And we're we'll going to read verses 15 through 20. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy book. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a public. Verily I say unto you, what so it shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and what so it shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven again, I say unto you. You know, two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask. It shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. It's only one church. It's only one church. One. One church. Now let's go over to uh, Matthew chapter 28. Let's go over to Matthew chapter 28. And we're going to read verses 16 through 20. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some down there, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all ladies, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command you and lo. And we feel our way, even until the end of the world. Amen. Now, let's turn back. Let me see. Uh, let's turn back to Matthew chapter 13. The whole chapter. Matthew chapter 13. And it reads The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and divided them up. Some fell upon a stony place where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell onto good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou 
unto them in parable. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. For whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whom? So ever have not, for him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in prayer, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand it. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing, ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing, ye shall see. And shall not proceed. For this people. For this people's uh, heart. Is wax gross. And their ears are. Dull of hearing. And their eyes they have. Closed lest at any time. They should see with their. Eyes and hear with their ears. And shall understand with their. With their heart and should be. Converted. And I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes. For they see. And your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you. That many prophets and righteous men. Have desired to see those things. Which ye see. They have not seen them. And to hear those things within. Ye hear. And have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the soul. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one and catch up away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside, but he that received the seed into stony place, the same as he that heareth the word and anon with joy received it, yet ye have he not root in himself but dure for a while for when tribulation or persecution arise because of the word by and by he is offended he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that hear the word and the cur of this world and the deceitfulness of a a riches choke the word and he becomes untruthful. But he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit and bring forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another prayer will put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven. It's likened unto a man with so good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sold tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, there appeared. brought forth fruit that then appeared the tares also so the servants of the household <coughs> came and said unto him sir didst not thou sow good seed in thy field from which then hath it tares he said unto them in emptiness and enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Without then that we go and gather them up. But he said, Nay, that's why ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow until the harvest, and in the time of harvest, I would say. To the reapers. 
got the gig together first to tear us in. Together uh, first to tear us in, bind them in bundles to, to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Another prayer I'm putting you forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard. To a grain of mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his, in his field, which indeed is the least of all seed, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and, and lodge in the branches. There are another parable. Spake he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in these mesh. In three measures of meal until the whole was living, and all these things done speak. Then it might be fulfilled. Then Jesus sent the mother to him into the house. And the disciple came up to him saying, He in a parable of the terrors of fear, he answered and said unto them, He that sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, the ground, the good seed. Are the children of the kingdom, but he tears let me, let me, I'm gonna go back to verse 37. He answered and said unto them, He that sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the weak one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As, the, as therefore the terrors are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall they be in the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth this angel, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity and cast. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who has ears to hear, let him hear again. The kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man hath found he had a, and for joy thereof, go up and sell up all that he had, and buy up that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a Jew, to a merchant man seeking goodly pearl, but when who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and And sold all that he had and bought it again. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a seed. It's like unto a nick. Again, the kingdom of heaven is, is like unto a nick that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full. They drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. 
they should be willing and gnashing the teeth. Jesus said unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said he unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is, is like unto a man that is an household which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he, he departed thence. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished, and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James? And Joseph and Simon and Judas and his sisters and they not all with us which them have this this man all these things and they were offended in him but Jesus said unto them a prophet is not without honor save in his own country and in his own house <coughs> And he did not many mighty words there because of their unbelief. Now we're going to continue our reading. We're going to turn to Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 46. We just got through reading Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 58. So now we're going to turn to the book of Matthew. We're going to read chapter 25, verses 1 through 46 Shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom? And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom come and go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trembled their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your dust. Give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out but the, but the wise answer saying not so lest them be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself and while they went to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut afterward came also the other virgin saying Lord Lord open to us 
But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man come. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them the goods and unto one. He gave five times it, and to another two and to another one. To every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five times went and traded with him with the same in the whole and the whole that made them a other five times and likewise he that had received two he also gained other two but then that I had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money after a long time the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou would deliver them unto me five talents. Behold, I, I have gained beside them five talents. The Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful. I have been faithful over many things enter down into the joy of thy Lord. He also that have received two talents came and said, Let 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 thou deliver unto me two two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. The Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler. One over. Make thee rule over many things, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. <coughs> then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not am straw. And I was afraid. And went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not straw. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchange, and then in my coming I shall have received mine, my own, with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which have ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given and he shall have, have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast thee the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be wept, weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon his upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a sheep 
as a shepherd dividing his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hunger, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, and feed thee, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in? or naked and clothed thee, or when saw we thee sick, or in prison and came unto thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, insomuch ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hunger, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no, no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and you visited me. You visited me not. Then shall they also Answer him saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger or thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me, and these shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into life eternal now some very 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 uh, you know uh, persuasive influencing verses about everlasting punishment and life eternal. Because like Jesus just got to tell me. In both these verses. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 1 through 58. And Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 through 46. And all those that are defiant and disobedient. You're going to be punished with the devil. And his angels. You're going to be punished. With everlasting punishment. And all those who are obedient to God, Jesus Christ, are going to be uh, blessed and rewarded by God. And uh, going to be blessed and rewarded with life eternal. With life eternal. Now I know time. Uh, I didn't have time, time to uh, do all the reading like I I want to do. And also uh, on the verses we just had to read, Matthew chapter thirteen, verse one through fifteen, Matthew. Chapter 25, verses 1 through 46. And also in the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 through 32. I repeat, Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 through 32. And then Mark, chapter 13. Mark, chapter 13, verses 1 through 37. 
And again, those verses, Mark chapter 4, verse 1 through 32, and Mark chapter 13, verse 1 through 37. Now, I didn't get the opportunity, uh, I didn't have time today to read the book of Acts. Okay. <clears throat> now, before I, the end, um, uh, we're going to continue our Bible reading. And I know time, I didn't have the time to do the reading like I want to do. But the first thing, we, well, let's go to Acts chapter 21. We're going to just go to Acts chapter 21. And we're going to start reading at verse number 1. And it came to pass that after we were gotten from them and had lunch, we came with it. We came with a straight course unto Coles, and the day following unto Rose, and from thence unto Petra. And find the ship sailing over unto Phoenicia. We went aboard and set forth. Now when we had discovered Cyprus, we left it on the left hand and sailed unto Syria and landed at Tyre. For there the ship was to unlay her burden. And finding the Cyprus, we tarried there seven days, we said to Paul, through the Spirit, that it should not go up to Jerusalem. And when we had published, we had, we had, and after we had accomplished the old day, we departed and went our way. And they all brought us on our way with wives and children. Till we were out of the city, and we kneeled down on the shore and prayed. And when we had taken our leave one of another, we took ship. And they returned home again. And when we had finished our course from Tyre, we came to Ptolemaeus and saluted the brethren and the bond with them one day. And the next day, we, there were Paul's coming, departed and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. That's chapter uh, 6, Acts chapter 6. And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. And as we tarried there many days, there came down from Judea a certain prophet named Agabus. And when he was come unto us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet and said, Thus saith the Holy Ghost, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind. The man that owned this girl and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when we heard these things, listen. And when we heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And when he would not be persuaded, we see, saying, The will of the Lord is done, be done. Now see, that, 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 that's, that's not right. You know, uh, the the uh, the Holy Ghost. And see, no verses that we just got to read. Uh, what was that? Uh, Matthew chapter. Uh, mm -hmm. 
see Matthew chapter 13 verses 1 through 58 and Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 46 and it talks about everlasting punishment and uh with life eternal you know blessing you don't live your life is you know like like there's no God like there's no God you, you know you live your life like a, like there's no such thing as a God that's not true that's not true I read. And after those days we took up our cares and went up to Jerusalem. There went with us also a certain then went with us also certain of the disciples of Caesarea and brought with them one and eight son and a, a Cyprus. An old disciple with wisdom, we shall lie. And when we were come to Jerusalem, the brethren reserved us then and they and the day saying come to rule the brother received us gladly and the day following Paul went in with us unto James listen listen and the day following Paul went in with us unto James the apostle James and all the elders were present and when he had saluted them he declared particularly what thing God had wrought among the Gentiles by his ministry but pay attention, listen. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands, a thousand with an S on it, thousands of Jews there are. Which believe. And they are all are zealous of the law. And they are informed of thee. Listen to this. And they are informed of, of who is about thee. Who is thee, Paul? That thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles, which are among the Gentiles, to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the custom. Where is it therefore the much too much need to come together? But they were here. For they were here that thou art come. And you know, when they say it's about the mother too come. talked about what is it therefore the much too much need to come together but they will hear that thou art come if somebody hear that Eric is coming and the reaction you get when they actually see me and they run at me full speed I'm talking about running toward me full speed and I see the expression on their face they're not laughing they're not smiling they angry 
and running in my direction. So first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna kind of step to the side music to make sure you're looking at me. You know, make sure you directing your uh, anger at me. You know, because you done heard that I'm here. But what I also do, even before then, see, is that I keep people informed myself about my personal, you know, not divulging a whole lot, but but uh, you talk to people about certain things because somebody running towards you and you know being direct. So that's what that means here. See if somebody heard that you hear, somebody heard that Eric was coming. And when they heard that I was coming, they ran toward me, you know, full speed and angry. I'm gonna step to the side, one side or the other side. Because you might not be looking at me. It might be somebody behind me. Or it might be somebody on the side of me. But if you, I got, you know, you directing some at me, then by then I know. Because you're still coming in my direction. And you're still angry. So then I had to, had to take action. But see, that's what these people have to deal with. See, the wrong one that's all done. And the way they having to deal with it, you know what I'm saying? That, that's me. Why the man was talking to Paul? He said to Saul, "I said like, what is it that the, the mother two got to come together for? What we, what is it that we got to see? You done lied. You done told the Jews that you know. You done told the Gentiles, the Jews amongst the Gentiles." To forsake Moses. That's that's serious. You told him just forget Moses. When you say forsake Moses, just forget. Don't even mention Moses' name. Just forget him. And neither walk after the custom. And they say, what is it there for the month two when you come together? For they will hear that thou come. If they hear that, you, that Saul is coming, what is it that, that you hear being uh, being emphasized here? What is it there for the month two when these come together? For they will hear that thou come. That's some serious stuff. Is that they don't have to restrain some people. If 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 you can't even have a meeting with Saul or Paul about this, if the people that you did said that to you got to get in between, you know, we gotta try to hold people back. That's not no easy thing to do. And then I'm going to tell you this. The apostles. The apostles. They had a Saul around. And then. Talking about some kind of. Uh, stuff that he did. The multitude can't even come together to consider. You know what to do it. Because if, if they came together, it's a possibility they might kill us all. It's a possibility he, he might die. And it says in verse 20, Do therefore this that we say to thee. We have 
four men say, uh, do therefore this that we say to thee. We have four men which have bound them. Them take and purify thyself with them and be in charge with them that they may shave their heads and all and all may know. And all may know. Land where they was informed concerning thee are nothing but that thou thyself and walkest. And keep us the law. So when you walk orderly, you, you really walk on a straight line. You do more listening than talking. Because when you do, when you talk, it leads to an altercation. And keep the law. When you keep the law, it's sacred. Touching the Gentiles, which believe we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols and from blood and from strangled and from pillar and and from fornication. So that was the only thing that the Jews from the Gentiles. Gentile which believe the Gentile which believe and so Include our Bible reading for the day. And like I said, I'm gonna come back on my next video. We're gonna continue our Bible reading. It's important.
This is Webster's third new international dictionary. This is the complete and total definition and meaning of the word gain. The act, manner, or means of going. A stupid sorority and a stupid fraternity. This is sister. And this is brother.
Now this is Oxford English Dictionary. The complete and total definition meaning of the word gang, action or mode of going, way, past, a set of things or persons. That stupid sorority and that stupid fraternity. Look like I get right down to the end of my Facebook live video and then so I'm gonna have to restart but oh well it's gonna be a part two. Hello everybody, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also on Bright Shine there right here in the city of Memphis County Sheriff in the state of Tennessee. Today they early Sunday morning. May 5th, 2019, the time is 6.39 a.m. First thing, thank all my family, my support people, team, courage, and support. Now, this is part two on my Facebook Live video. Get right down to the end, and then the connection failed. <coughs> but, uh, I'm still able to get some Bible reading in, even though the time, you know, uh, I'm going to come back next weekend, continue to do my video, but uh, don't let that sorority and fraternity mislead you. The old, them, them sorority and fraternity based on them old world secret societies, you know, from the, from the old world. And, and don't, don't be misled by the sorority and fraternity. Don't be misled. Just because they're on the college campus and, you know, college and university campus, that does not mean they're trying to do what's right. Just because you took the ACT and the SAT, that don't mean that they're trying to do what's right. No. They're criminals. They do all that initiation ritual stuff and be devil worship. Some want to be devil because first of all, there's no such thing, no devil worship. Never has been. Never has been. But see, like when we read in the book of Matthew and Mark, you know, uh, Mark, Matthew 13, chapter 13, and Matthew chapter uh, 25, and right, Matthew chapter 13, verse 1 through 58, Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 46. Mark chapter 4, verse 1 through 32, and Mark chapter 13, verse 1 through 13. Isn't it? it never has been no such thing as worshiping the devil. Even in the Old Testament, it never has been. But see, like I said, in the Word, see, it was the devil who deceived, you understand, who deceived people. People were deceived, and that's the same thing. When you're talking about worshiping the devil, you are deceived. There's no such thing. <coughs> We, we can refer to Acts chapter 21. You understand? 
it shows you that the devil is Saul is the devil when they tried to persuade him not to go to Jerusalem the Holy Ghost you know prophet Agabus told him what the, what the Holy Ghost told him don't go to Jerusalem they even like people exhausting themselves trying to persuade don't go to Jerusalem you the devil you the devil Saul is the devil he lied to the Jews amongst the Gentiles he had to get purified the, the Jews that believed they were very upset about what he had done the lie he had told the wrong he had done then don't forget Saul lied about speaking in tongues in Acts chapter 19 verses 1 through 7 he lied no such thing as speaking in tongues there's no such thing we're going to go to the United Nations make it official there's only one church only one there's only one church Matthew chapter 13 verses 8 verses uh, 16 13 through 19 excuse me, verses 13 through 19 Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 19 and Matthew chapter 18 verses 15 through 20 is only one church only one only one all the other stuff lies lies we're going to go to the United Nations to make it official at the same time criminal and civil charge criminal and civil because what you're doing is wrong it's a crime it's a crime and uh, all these man-made religious organizations you're going to be charged with individual where is the, is the whole organization criminal and civil charge the Catholic Church all that particular church uh, all these Protestant Reformation movement churches 95 Thesis all that the American Restoration Movement, Stone Campbell Movement, and then all these man-made groups, the, the Mormons, uh, the Moorish Science Temple Nation of Islam, and all that stuff, Five Percent Nation, the Rastafarians, criminal and silver charge. All that stuff about some pan-Africanism. Criminal and civil. Persecution. Religious persecution. Persecution of the church. That's what you be doing. You be persecuting the church. Conspiracy. Conspiring against the church. That was that what you be doing. That's what you be doing. With that Jew and Jew stuff. That Christian. You, you be conspiring against the people the church the children of Israel and you're going to be charged with, a, with criminal and civil charge ain't no such thing that's been charged the people in the courtroom the judge, the public defender, prosecutor they, ain't, they not above going to jail you get caught living be brought up on some some allegations and you going to jail too the executive legislative judicial branch of government be brought up on some allegations you going to jail too you going to jail now I'm going to get ready to end today's video again my name is Eric D. Johnson also known by Sean Lee right here in the city of Memphis in the county sheriff in the state of Tennessee Thank all my family support for your continued care and support. And uh, always put God first. Always. Now these are just a few of the free logo design websites that you can go to to make anti-game logo.
and don't forget when you do your uh, studying, you know, on the church, stay in the, you know, continue to research and study, investigate the first century, the first century. And we'll come back next weekend, you know, maybe on the video. Until next time, take care of yourself. We each and every one of you the very best.